The Milwaukee Bucks are one of the older teams in the league as everyone from last season's playoff rotation is 26 and above. This left some fans concerned about this as Giannis isn't on the same age timeline as the rest of his teammates. Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, Wesley Matthews, Serge Ibaka, Thanasis Antetokounmpo, Joe Ingles, and George Hill are all 30 or older and not getting any younger. So fans have the right to be concerned, as it doesn't look like Milwaukee is trying to acquire legit young talent, but that's where you'd be wrong. The Bucks not only drafted G League Ignite star Marjan Bochamp with the 24th selection in this year's draft, but they also have a couple of summer league standouts in Sandro Mamukilishvili and Lindell Wigington. People forget that the Bucks are low-key one of the best drafting teams, as they're always finding second-round gems. In 2016, they drafted Malcolm Brogdon with the 36th overall pick, and he later went on to win Rookie of the Year during that season. The year before that, in 2015, the Bucks traded the rights to the 45th overall pick in Norman Powell. Nonetheless, Powell was still an incredible second-round selection who went on to win a championship. In 2009, Milwaukee landed Jody Meeks in the second round. The year before that, they got Luke Mbahamute, and their best second round selection came in 2000 when they took Michael Red 43rd overall. He went on to become an all-star later in 2004, along with being selected to the All-NBA third team. So long story short, the Bucks are incredible at finding talent, even late in the draft. And Milwaukee's 54th overall selection in 2021 in Sandro Mamukilishvili is looking like another hidden gem. Coming out of Seton Hall, Mamu was listed at 6'11", 240 pounds, and his skill set was incredibly diverse for his size, as he had solid shooting range, ball handling ability, and solid passing skills out of the high pick and roll to go along with the fact that he's a terrific rebounder so Milwaukee was thrilled to get such a unique skill set at the 54th overall pick Mamu didn't play a lot of legit NBA minutes during his rookie season as he only appeared in 41 games and mostly played during garbage time but in three games as a starter this season Sandro averaged almost 17 points seven boards three assists about 49 percent from the field and 41 percent from three which included a 28.13 rebound explosion versus the Cavaliers to finish the season so although it was a limited sample size Mamu projected to be a player with a ton of potential and he flashed some of it during his time in the starting lineup Sandro spent more of his time playing with the Bucks G League affiliate in the Wisconsin herd with the herd Mamu would average almost 21 points and 11 boards to go along with about three assists on 53.3 percent shooting from the field and 38 percent from deep and his skill set was undeniable his most impressive stat overall being his three-point shooting as Mamu proved both as a starter and in the G that he could shoot the rock from deep Mamu continued his brilliance during the NBA's Summer League in Vegas as he averaged about 17 points, 9 boards, and 2.5 and assists on 45% shooting from the field and almost 48% from deep. And for those questioning the legitimacy of his 3-point shooting, he's attempting a solid amount of 3s per game as he attempted about 4.2 during the Summer League and made about 2 per game. So it wasn't like he was just taking 1 per game and posting a high 3-point percentage. Mamu's range is legit. A couple other other impressive skills Sandro displayed during the summer league were his ability to run the floor and play the point forward. It wasn't like Mamu was averaging a crazy amount of assists, but at the same time he could still create offense for himself and his teammates as the primary ball handler. Sandro's impressive display in Vegas earned him all summer league first team honors, while his teammate Lindell Wigington earned all summer league second team honors. Wigginton went undrafted in 2019, despite this he still landed on John Horse radar when he signed a two-way contract in January of this past season. Lindell was another guy to rarely see time in the regular rotation, so the 24-year-old had to make his mark in the G League. However, he didn't perform exceptionally well during his time in the G, as he put together averages of about 16.5 points, 5 boards, and almost 6 assists, and while those numbers may seem great at face value, we didn't account for the fact that he was relatively inefficient when shooting the rock as he shot 40% from the field overall and 20% from deep. Combine this with the fact that he averaged three and a half turnovers per game. His assist to turnover ratio was horrendous. But during the NBA Summer League, Wigginton was a completely different 
different beast, averaging about 18 points, 2.5 boards, 4.5 assists on 54% from the field and 41% from deep. He still had a bit of a turnover problem though, as he averaged about 4.2 turnovers to his 4.6 assists, but that's what Mamu was there to do, help him with the ball handling duties so Wigginton wasn't forced to handle the rock too much, but Lindell's poise overall showed during the summer league, as he had vastly improved since last seeing him in the G. The third member of the Bucks summer league big three was first round draft pick Marjan Bochamp, who didn't put up ridiculous numbers during the summer league, but he showed great flashes as a 3 and D wing, and he was easily Milwaukee's best perimeter defender during the summer league, and he also shot the three ball at a 46% clip, and if that's what he can provide next to Giannis, he'll have a job for a long time in this league. Milwaukee's most intriguing young prospect comes in the form of Jordan Wara, who was the 45th overall pick in the second round of the 2020 draft, and he's the most intriguing of the four youngsters not necessarily due to skill or potential, but due to his contract situation. Wara is currently a restricted free agent with a qualifying offer, but he's yet to accept it and technically hasn't returned to the Bucks yet, but all signs do point to him returning, and his 2021 Summer League stats weren't particularly impressive as his efficiencies were terrible, but Wara's most impressive stats came as a starter. Let's take a look. In 15 career starts with the Bucks, Jordan averages about 17.5 points and 7 boards on 44% from the field and 42% from 3. He displays a very deep offensive bag and can score in a lot of different ways, and that's the most intriguing part about his potential. But overall, you can clearly see Milwaukee is trying to develop a younger core while continuing to contend. It's very subtle because none of these guys were high profile lottery picks, but they are young players with a lot of potential, especially within the Bucks franchise, and I can't wait to see what they do when given a larger role. But in the end, let me know down in the comments section what you guys think of the Bucks young core, and could you see any of these guys fitting well next to Giannis in the coming years? But just let me know, and I'm sorry I didn't upload yesterday, something came up and I was a little busy, so I do apologize, but in the end, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and with all that being said, peace.